Good morning, amazing leaders. And today's topic we're going to talk about is the topic of listening. Uh, It's something that we can all learn more about. We can all practice this skill of listening. And like most of the topics we talk about in the Amazing Leaders group, they are skills that we can learn, that we can improve on, and we can grow our knowledge on. Uh, Nobody's born an amazing leader. Most people that are amazing leaders have learnt some of their skills uh, and they keep honing those and practicing those. So today's topic about listening, we can practice at home with our families, really important to practice with especially young people and uh, with our spouses as well. And it's something that we don't necessarily do that much now, especially with a lot of the distractions that we have in today's world with the TV, with our technology. We often are half listening to what people are saying. So today, I'm gonna really try and practice that skill of listening. There's so many different methods out there that you can uh, that you can use that you can read up on Stephen Covey for example in his book the seven habits of highly effective people he uses something called the Indian stick listening technique where the person holding the stick is the only person talking and the other person has to listen they can't interrupt they can't say anything until they're past the stick once they've got the stick they have to repeat back and summarize what the other person has said to ensure that they've understood, and if the other person that spoke agrees, then they can offer a response to that. So very powerful technique to uh, to use. And another thing that we should try and do is get out of the habit of interrupting people with the answer. Now you may know what uh, the answer is, but it may not be the whole conversation that the other person is, is speaking to you about. There may be other information that they're giving you, but you haven't heard that because you've already got the answer in your head and you need to listen more because that may just be half the story. So practice that today. Practice it at home. Uh, when, when you get home and you're speaking to your children or you're speaking to your other half about their day, practice listening. Practice it at work. Um, I love talking to our cleaners at both our sites uh, and listening to them. They've got their finger on the pulse, they know what's going on and I learn so much from what they tell me and share with me uh, about the morale in in the companies and uh, and what's happening and just walking around and interacting with people and listening to what people are saying. So practice it at work. If you've got meetings today, practice being a better listener in those meetings. God gave us two ears and one mouth, and we should use those in that proportion. So I'd really encourage you all to uh, to practice that today. Uh, invite somebody to this group who you want to be accountable to for practicing this skill of listening. And you can say, I've, I've shared this with you because I want you to listen to today's message and uh, help me to be a better listener, please. Uh, and add your comments in on ways that uh, you have improved your skill of listening, any recommendations for any books or podcasts or YouTube clips that we can have a look at would be greatly received, and let us know how you get on. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll speak to you soon.